Knives so you can call me Knight. Today it's all about wine. Uh, I love wine. I appreciate everything that wine does. So today I'm going to be talking about my five, uh, my top five wines that I think that everyone should try at least once. So if you're interested in seeing my top favorite wines, just keep on watching. So I broke this up into sweet wines and then not so sweet wines. So um, sweeter wines normally are sparkling wines, so they bubble a little bit when you pour them out. Um, not so sweet wines kind of are darker in color. They uh, don't necessarily bubble. They aren't as sweet. So I'm just going to give um, one of each in the spectrum of whites, one's in the spectrum of reds, and then that's pretty much how I curated this list. A super, super sweet Moscato. Um, this was actually introduced to me in college. A roommate of mine actually got this brand for me um, and I thought it literally tastes like apple juice and I think this is really really nice for people who are just starting out in wine and they think they might like something that's sweet so this is Electro Moscato um, this has notes of uh, peach definitely peach and it's very high in apple um, the alcohol content is a 4.5 so it's underneath the 5% so this doesn't necessarily mean that like you know you're gonna drink a glass of this and you're gonna be like off your ass because that's not the point everyone's tolerance is different as well but this leans so towards apple juice it doesn't feel like you're drinking wine but you still have to be 21 to buy it okay so this is a lot on the sweeter side than a lot of other uh, wines in this list so if you aren't sure about you know what kind of wine you want to try I do recommend this as being your first wine because it is very very sweet um but at the same time it doesn't feel like you're drinking wine or if that has that like bitter wine taste and you're not used to this range is for about 11 to 12 dollars i think that's very good for a sweet wine some people don't like paying 13 dollars for juice but you know if that juice is gonna give me a little litty bitty in the city <laughs> i don't mind it so next on this list is another Moscato, but this Moscato isn't necessarily as sweet as the Electra. The Jacob's Creek Moscato. Um, this is a Moscato that has very high pear notes. So when you taste this and it's like, it stays at the back of your mouth, you're gonna be like, I ate something that tastes like a pear. This is not sickening sweet. Um, this one to me is a little more on the drier end of a Moscato, which is very hard to find because Moscatos are meant to be sweet. Moscatos are on the lower end of the spectrum when it comes to whites because they are the sweetest. Um, but this one is an Australian Moscato. It really isn't that sweet, but it isn't uh, super bitter. So I think that if you drink Chardonnays or you drink Pinot Grigios, um, this is just a, a hint sweeter. So this one, the alcohol percentage is a 7.5. So this one is a little stronger than the sweeter Moscato. As you see that as we get less and less sweet, the alcohol percentage does increase. But I do recommend this if you want something that's sweet, but not sickening with like almost candy-like. Uh, I think this would be a really good wine for you and this comes in about nine or ten dollars which is super surprising i think because i got it on sale at my supermarket but i don't this is not expensive expensive um i think this is a really good wine for people who like moscato but maybe didn't like how sweet it was now my personal favorite lately i've really just been enjoying red wine and everything that red wine has to offer so i'm gonna start with a sweet red wine Stella Rosa's uh, The Rosso. This is a semi-sweet red wine. Um, this wine is very, it's tart but sweet at the same time, so it does live up to the name, semi-sweet. Um, Stella Rosa has really good wines for people who are starting and aren't sure what they like. I love a Rosso, I love a Bruschetta, I love wines that uh, kind of taste like blackberries. This does remind me of raspberries and blackbe blackberries <laughs> if you mix them together. Um, I really enjoy this wine. It's really good with dinner. It's really good, you know, just <clears throat> pour me a glass of wine. 
I personally think that when you open the reds of the Celeros, it's good to open them and to leave them sitting for about 15 to 20 minutes um, at least to let it really air out so you can really taste that uh, those blackberries and those red uh, raspberry notes. You just like pop this open and take it to the head. I mean, that's on you. <laughs> Live your best life. But I feel like you'll get more of an experience if you open it and leave, let it aerate. Um, so this is really good for people who uh, like something sweet but not sickening, but in the red department, not necessarily in the white. Because the white, when the white when it's not sweet, is not like a red when it's not sweet. So they both have they have different notes in them, and it's your preferences that's going to determine what you like. Okay, and the Stella Rosa comes in at 5.5 um, for an ABV level, but it's not super high in alcohol, which is what Stella Rosa is known for, is not being high in alcohol because their notes are so sweet. They want people to enjoy them, um, and they're just, they're aged differently. So if you like a red wine that's not super, super sweet, but definitely something that you could, you know, drink on and not feel like you're having that bitter taste, definitely this is one for you so on the wine spectrum for reds that is not really sweet at all um but i think is a nice taste it's very aged it's beautiful it is the apothic red winemakers blend it is not necessarily sweet in a sense but i do think this has a beautiful beautiful blackberry the notes are mocha and vanilla and you definitely taste the mocha when you automatically drink this, the first thing I think you're going to taste is the mocha. Um, this is really good for people who really don't like sweet wine at all, but are wanting to try something that's a little out of their comfort zone. This definitely, for me, was out of my comfort zone. I really enjoy sweet wine, but this, this is very good. This is definitely like a dinner wine, I would consider. Uh, I think that it's exactly what it says on there. It's very rich. It's very smooth. This is a 2017 Apothic friend. Um... I absolutely love this so the ABV level that comes with this is a 13.5 um, that's pretty high in alcohol content that means that the berries have been aged and aged and aged but it is very smooth it is very rich that is definitely that mocha smell really like and I say about a glass and a half in you know woo but I do recommend it for people who aren't really into sweet wine but don't know much about wine that doesn't taste like a jar so i do recommend apothic red and lastly on my list i actually cannot find so i'm going to be talking about the riscato riscato is a sweet dulce um red wine if hennessy was a wine this would be it um it has very strong notes of um chocolate um, but it also has this like note of like a, a, a blackberry that I think is really interesting. It's very good. Um, anybody that I've shared this wine with have asked for, absolutely loved it. Um, a red that's kind of sweet, kind of not sweet, that are just like in the middle. The Riscato is perfect for you. It is found at Walmart, at your local liquor store, but I promise you that Walmart probably has it for cheaper. I get mine for $9.00. Um, and you know, it surprised me how good it was. I actually was genuinely surprised how nice it, you know, how smooth it is, how chocolatey it is. Choc chocolatey? That's the word, right? Chocolate? How, <laughs> how much chocolate it seems to have in the notes. So I think that it's a really, really nice wine and it comes in at my number one spot for wines that you should try definitely 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 go ahead and go out to Walmart if you don't take anything else from this video go ahead and get yourself some Riscato so if you really enjoyed this video go ahead and you know like it up comment it up until then I'll see you next time